Welcome back. Continued tough economic times forced many Americans to turn to the government for help, but it turns out U.S. citizens aren't the only ones getting that helping hand. According to the Center for Immigration Studies, 51% of households headed by an immigrant, either legal or illegal, used at least one welfare program. As it stands now, 30% of U.S. citizens have turned to welfare. The study also found that when it comes to welfare use, it doesn't matter whether an immigrant was a new arrival or had been here for years. For more on this, let's welcome in the former lieutenant governor of the state of New York, Betsy McCoy. She Skypes in from New York City and Skyping in from Washington, D.C., Stephen Camerata, the director of research at the Center for Immigration Studies. We welcome you both and we take note of the fact that Stephen must have sharpened his pencils and checked all those numbers. But before we get to numbers, strong words, Betsy. You get this study. Uh, does it surprise you? Well, what's most, most disturbing about this study is two things. Number one, the very large number of Americans, whether native-born or immigrant, who are dependent on government largesse. I'm not talking about seniors who collect Social Security and Medicare. They're not included here. But working age people who can't make ends meet and take care of their family without food stamps or housing assistance or cash welfare. This is a terrible situation because the Obama administration has been advertising that we're in a recovery. It doesn't look like a recovery when you look at the numbers. That's number one. Number two, you're quite right. Uh, families headed by someone who was born in another country are far more likely to be on some sort of government handouts than people who were born here. And what's particularly distressing about that is that the law requires that legal immigrants coming into this country be self-sufficient, be able to support themselves. That law is not being enforced, and you can blame the Obama administration and its predecessors for simply ignoring the law. A failure to enforce immigration law. We have long uh -huh. lamented it. Stephen Camerata, you did the study. Did you have a further breakdown? Did you ask for a differentiation between legal immigrants and illegal aliens getting welfare? We're working on that one. I mean, here's the thing. Most immigrants in, in the country and in the Census Bureau data that we use from 2012 are here legally. About 75 percent, about three-fourths of the households accessing the welfare system are here legally, and about one-fourth are headed by an illegal immigrant. And it turns out that if you pulled the illegal immigrants out from the data, it wouldn't make much difference. The illegals are getting a fair amount of welfare, but so are the legal immigrants. And, and again, it comes down to a failure to enforce the law. Part of that, the outlook, I remember when George W. Bush was president and he spoke of people coming to this country to, quote, do the jobs Americans just won't do. Betsy, how much of this do you believe is uh, holding down wages and how much of it is just saying, well, these programs are available, I'm going to take advantage? Well, it is interesting to note in the same study that immigrants are more likely to be working than uh, American-born heads of household. That was a real shocker. But the, pro the fact is they're getting very low-paid jobs, and the result is that they're still accessing all these government assistance programs in order to feed and clothe and house their families. Uh, that's a big burden on American taxpayers, and it's contrary to what the law says. Americans want people coming into this country who can take care of themselves and take care of their families rather than going on welfare. We've passed those laws, but the executive branch simply won't enforce them. It's a defiance of the nation's will. And well, Steve, I, go ahead, I'd Stephen. Like, go ahead. Yeah, let me jump in there. On page 25, we have in our appendix an explanation of sort of how it is immigrants can access all these programs. The short answer is that it is true that there is significant cases of the laws not being enforced particularly something called the public charge doctrine. But it's also true that that's not mostly what's happening. So for example, we have a law that says you can't be a public charge, you're not supposed to be dependent. But the way the regulations have been written and the law and the Congress goes along with this is it only counts cash. So you can be living in public housing, getting Medicaid, free school lunch, food stamps, and lots of other stuff, and it, does, it says that you're completely self-sufficient. So that is well, the let's law. Jump in. And, 
And, and let me talk to you about that, Betsy. You used to be lieutenant governor of New York. Did the Empire State face these problems when, when people were getting all these government uh, benefits well, that Stephen course, outlined? New York, really, New York State is really the, the national capital for handouts, especially to people from other countries. We, we make Medicaid available to people regardless of their immigration status. We really give the handouts. But the point here is that the law doesn't allow it. As Stephen agrees, it's the regulations. Those aren't written by Congress. Those aren't passed by the Americans elect, American people's elected representatives. That's the executive branch doing that. And that is the real problem here. Well, well let, let me just give you one other Go ahead, fact. very quickly. Very quickly, there's a bar. Immigrants aren't supposed to use a certain welfare programs for the first five years. But the vast majority of legal immigrants have lived here for more than five years, so they're not going to be affected by it anyway. And that will always be true because it's a big population. So, and immigrants have U.S. born kids and they're American citizens. So any attempt to regulate immigrant use of welfare isn't going to apply to them anyway. And they're getting a lot of programs. And let me just point out, too, in the closing seconds here, that the Obamacare law was written to make sure legal immigrants get the full buffet of health care benefits. You have to wait five years to go on Medicaid, but you are eligible for Obamacare with a full subsidy the minute you arrive in this country mm. if you come here legally. How about that? We'll have to leave it right there. Betsy McCoy, Stephen Camerata, you have our thanks. Now... Just one thing we'd like you to do, we want to know who you favor as the next Republican nominee. Go to NewsmaxPolls.com and vote.